our first academic building in a long time, I think since the ARC. I'm hoping it's gonna elevate the sciences on this campus. You come to this spot and you look to either side and you can just see out the building from both, in both directions, which is just, it just feels so refreshing and calming. This is actually a marker board. When you see the opaque, the professors are using that as a marker board. And as a person on the corridor, you're seeing the ghosting of that writing in here. This is a genetics lab. We gave them utilities that they needed at the bench top. So this particular one has vacuum, gas, and uh, low pressure air. Each and every lab in this building, uh, we worked specifically with the professor that would be in this space. This is a human anatomy lab. These things here, these are called snorkels. These are sort of like really small fume hoods. You sort of just pull them down to your tabletop if you're doing a small experiment there. The chemistry lives on floors one and two, and this is an analytical chemistry lab. There's two of them, whereas before there used to only be one. You can see for this particular lab, they have these really big drawers. This is where students put all of their stuff and then they lock it and then they kind of have this drawer for the semester. The yeah. labs look amazing. Everything is like set up so that mm -hmm. students can face each other, which I think is just yeah. even more like going towards like collaboration and everything. So There's it's definitely really cool. a lot more equipment too for mm -hmm. people to use. Mm -hmm. This is the observatory and this space in particular that we're standing on is the platform where the big telescopes will be located. The roof that you see above has a switch it actually just slides this direction off on a track up there on the roof so that these telescopes are exposed to the sky. This is the observatory terrace. Um, this will be used for the smaller, more mobile telescopes uh, for special events for people to be able to view. And we gave them these mounting locations you see along the perimeter for them to be able to bring that telescope out, mount it, and then allow people to view. This is wood that was taken from uh, trees that PG&E requested we remove. You can actually write on this. So students can sit here with their markers and write and take notes and work out problems together. These are the seats for that. They're called buoys. They're really cool. You can kind of wiggle around on them and move them around easily. There's an amazing view just out here. And so we really wanted to capitalize on that because we created some seating here up against this window that allows students to come, sit, study. So if you kind of walk down the bays, uh, each faculty member, we've got five microbiologists in here, have their own dedicated space. This is like getting another job, a whole new job. Um, it's a different world for us and so I feel really, really fortunate, as I think we all do, um, to move into this brand new space. We have an absolute state-of-the-art planetarium. A giant gas cloud. <laughs> this is the Evans and Sutherland Digistar 6 system. We have two 4K ultra high def projectors which work together in tandem to create the four dome. This really goes all the way around. As you sit and watch, there is something in front of you, but if you look to your right or look to your left, there's something there as well. If you turn all the way around and look behind you, there is still screen behind you as well. It is very cool to say that Sac State has a planetarium. I love seeing all the windows and yeah. like just seeing like the outside, like the bridge too, like mm -hmm. that view. I'm excited. I wish I could be here longer. I'm only here for one yeah. more semester, so.